I'm sleepy. You may sit. I don't have a bigger chair. I believe Lord Ethan mm. has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. I choose Duncan. It's an obvious choice. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle! This... this is reckless! Lord Ethan has made his choice. Of I will not disappoint you, mm -hmm. Lord. Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Royland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Lord Ethan deserves to hear from all of us. Let Sir Royland speak. I'd like to hear what he has to say, Sir Royland. No, no. You chose your sentinel. He should speak on this. Sir Royland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. <laughs> Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. So I know. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. No, it's they know what It's not too to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! My new Come sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. <coughs> I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord He's not a lord. I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord. But you are not ready to be lord of this house. Oops. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down. 
at once. I agreed with him, and then he gets Apologies, mad. Apologies, my son. Mm. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. But we're still bargaining. We're still negotiating. No, we're still using diplomacy, right? Yes. You have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. Yes, we need him. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said, Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. I'm not like that. So I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family, what this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Oh. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. <coughs> Thank you, Ethan. Now we're down another man. Let me do this. Mm. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. It's so cold. Mm -hmm. I'm so alone. Leading is hard work. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what we got here. stuff. Hmm. Dang. Marjorie? Hmm. Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know I will be here for you if you ever... What is it? What is it? That does not look good. <laughs> My lady, I'll leave you to talk. She'll be like, surprise! You said yes. <laughs> Are you
all right, my lady. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. God. Oh, man. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. Oops. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. I am so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the king's help. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. Let me show that dress. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Hmm. <laughs> Milady. Begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. It's too dangerous for me right now. And for you as well. You needn't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Which is why you might trust me, lady. You need animals. Hopefully I've proven I'll be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Hide. <laughs> Quickly. It's me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Joffrey isn't the greatest, by the way. Apparently. <coughs> the man values pride more than honor. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Bolton men approaching, my lord. Something wrong with your gate? Hmm. Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Hmm. Now let me in. 
by my hairs and my chinny chin chin. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? Why the hurry? Are you cold? <laughs> you know I am a bit. Fortunately, there's no shortage of wood to burn around here. Thank you, my lord. Was that premature? Mm. A token for the new warden of the north. Let me guess. Forrester Ion. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. <laughs> no one can match our skill. Is that so? <gasps> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. He's just going off by himself. <laughs> Quite the army you have, Lord Forrester. Very impressive. Look at that. More foresters. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. Hmm. We really must focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I only kneel to the king. Is not the Warden also deserving of your respect? But then, I am not my father. Perhaps that is what you meant to say. You see? He's a fucking traitor, just like his father and brother. Here's the thing. <laughs> I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. Well, double half, it's, it it's like Star Wars. Wife, <laughs> mm -hmm. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your man lived. Lord Whitehill is a liar. That's not how it happened. Lad? A liar? He's a Whitehill. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. Hmm. The Whitehills 
will be taking control of your ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. The White Hills had ironwood, once, but now those hills are bare. Hence the name, of course. They know nothing of how to cultivate the forest. Look at their sigil, my lord. A barren hill. Do you want ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. They let all those guards in. All those soldiers in. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here, lads. Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Enough, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. My lord, if you want a hostage, take me. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the brave lord? <laughs> oh, Ethan! No! What have you done? Nice. But no. I don't want <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> trouble. Ethan! Ethan! I think I was doomed either way. No, no. I knew you'd bend the knee, actually. I think we've come to an understanding. Lord Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. I will survive. <laughs> Take the brave of your wolf oh. kill them if they give you any trouble. <laughs> Lovely meeting with oh. you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the big stuff quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mama! Please stop! Don't let them take me! Oh. Did I? Stop it! Do over. Something! Ethan! Oh. My son. Oh. <laughs> no! Just like the Darth Vader scream. No! <sighs> well, I failed. <laughs> Next time on Game of Thrones. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. Also, much he less saved than do. Mm -hmm. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me. <laughs> <laughs>
I will leave this house. My sister Single asked man to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forester above all other loyalties. Those who will Jen not Snow. <laughs> Until Ryan is home again. Our house will Asha. not fall. Asha will kill that dude. <laughs> Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Until next time. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. You and 56 stayed with Bowen. You and 68.3 swore loyalty to the king. You and 38% sent Eric to the wall. You and 64% picked Duncan as Sentinel. You and 42% met Ramsey at the gate. I think I was going to die. Either way. Yeah. So he died when I played it. And I did some things differently. There you go. But when it came to the sister, I did the same thing. TK instead. But I'm sure he would have died either way. Oh, the best part. <laughs> the credit scene. Yeah. Oh, that was two hours long. <laughs> That was a marathon. Mm. I'm severely tired. Yeah. I think your mother's mad at me. <laughs> I'm not going to bed on time. <laughs> you just list off. <laughs> it's midnight. You owe me one. <laughs> <laughs> well, good night, everybody. I know you not be, may not be listening to this at night, but. <laughs> it's night now, so I'm saying good night. <laughs> my first tell. episode, maybe not my last. <laughs> maybe next time I won't be as tired <laughs> and as quiet. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> good night, everyone.